hello everyone my name is Prasanta in this video I'm gonna show you how to configure my intelligent text box control I named it intelligent text box it because this control it can remember the words that you type previously let me show you what I mean for that I'm gonna run the application right now it's a simple application and I'm gonna type the word Canada in it at this point you don't see anything special in this control and I'm gonna update and again I'm gonna type the word Canada and this time you can see the Canada automatically pops into the text box control this control it can remember the words that you type previously and it can retrieve the information quickly now I'll show you how how easy it is to configure this intelligent text box control so I am going I'm getting to the Windows form I'm gonna drag the one intelligent text box control and I'm gonna place them into the Windows form click the intelligent text box control okay in the property you have to change four property values the first property value is auto complete mode property you can select any of these three three suggest happen suggest happen other than none if you select none it's not gonna work the none is the default so you have to select suggest happen or as suggest happened the second property you have to change is auto complete source property here you have to select custom source value the third property is a data name property here I put country in order to explain you about the data name property I have to explain you what is happening behind the intelligent text box control every time an intelligent text box control sends a new information what it does is it save the new information as XML file in the root directory of the program it's name this XML file whatever name you gave whatever name you give in this data name so it is very important to remember throughout your and throughout your entire project not to give the same name same data name for the two text box that they have a, that they don't have a same attribute for example if you have a two text box but these two text box they have the attribute country they both require country you can give the data name country however if the one text box is the country and the other text box is the is a street it's not a good idea to give the same data name for both of these text box you don't want to mix up the country name and the street name together so be careful about that the fourth property we have to change is show words property here you have to select them to true the last part is to write one piece of code I name the intelligent text box as a int txt dot save new word what is this what, what is this piece of code is telling is if the word that you type is new to you then save them as a XML file okay guys that's about it configuring the intel intelligent text box control we can run the application one more time okay let's say this time I'm gonna type the word Italy update next time if I want to type the word Italy I don't have to type the entire word I just press I in my keyboard you can see the Italy automatically pops into the text box control how about Canada see we have typed the Canada word previously it retrieves the data again back so guys for conclusion this control is very suitable for things that you have to type over and over again this control is not suitable for the things that they have a unique value anyway 
this con this control is completely free you can download this control from www.bb-heaven.com if you have any questions if you have any comments please visit www.bb-com post your comments post your questions i'll be answering your questions as soon as possible and thank you for watching this video bye